Hi, welcome back. In case you're new, I'm Ashley Sue, and here we discuss BTS, mental health, and midlife, and how these things come together. Dope old people, thanks to RM, we also are, are still young. Young forever, right? Speaking of young forever, I have been reacting lately to a lot of their older videos. I've been kind of working my way through. Just looking at me, can you take a guess what video we're gonna cover today since we're covering old discography? I adore that our boy Minyoungi loves um, some 80s and 90s references and his thing for cassette tapes, man, that... I'll be honest, when they drop new songs, Dynamite, Butter, Life Goes On, whatever, apparently you can buy it on vinyl and cassette, which cracks me up because I'm like, why are people buying cassettes? And then I think about Minyoungi and I'm like, out of love and respect for him, we should all be buying the cassette version of their singles. I'm looking through now, I have now covered 2013, 2014 videos. I have one video left to cover from their 2015 era, and that is Dope. Then I've got Fire from 2016. I have seen Dope and Fire. It's been a while, but my plan for tonight was not to watch Dope or Fire. My plan for tonight See, right here, right there. Serendipity, Jimin. We cannot, we cannot, I cannot. I embarrassed myself with the uh, Permission to Dance remix. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not covering Serendipity tonight. I can't do it. Enough babbling, let's get on. I can't believe Dope came out first. I don't know why that is so shocking to me. So with Dope, I'm definitely watching it on One the K. Several of you mentioned to me that the reason that people watch One the K is for captions. And I checked, Dope does not have captions on Lil Hive, Fire does. I'm kind of nervous. I haven't watched these in a long time. And I just remember Jimin with red hair and Taeyong looking like he's 12. Forgot to doink it. Hey, RM. It is not our first time to BTS, but. Hold on. <laughs> I'm already going back. What's the symbol on his uniform? I wondered if it somehow was incorporated into the Bangtan logo from back then, the bulletproof one, the vest, but it doesn't appear to be. I don't know what a uh, Korean civil servant police officer's uniform looked like, so. Definitely not the Bangtan, it's a Korean flag. Is he a detective? Is he an accountant? His hair is bright red, that's all I know. And then this. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, Sugar's face! I love seeing happy Sugar. I mean, everybody does, but. <laughs> My great great dance proves <laughs> J Hope! <laughs> <Min -yung -yi. laughs> oh man. Even if our youth rots. Woo! Look at Dayong and his knees. Looking like he's 12. Seriously, he looks like a 12 year old boy at church. <laughs> Jen. Oh god, Jen. You're cute. I feel like Jen's the only one who looks like an adult in this video. <laughs> Jungkook looks... He looks... He looks 17. <laughs> Which is still older than V looks. Oh my gosh. J-Hope looks like an adult. Almost. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
For those of you grown women or men who find them very sexy in this video, <laughs> I'm not mocking you. I mean, they're saying it themselves, they're youth. <laughs> they're definitely gorgeous people all the time. But this video, they look so, not baby young to me, but they look young. And then V looks baby young. <laughs> you look 12, honey. Oh, except for Jen. You are, you look like a grown ass man. <laughs> Dr. Jen. <laughs> See my problem with this? Sorry, I'm missing the whole point of the song, which is like hard work, cranking it out. Nobody's gonna take their dreams from them because they're dope. <laughs> I can't get past the visual aspect. Do they look. Like they could be my nephews, but they're like in uniform, <laughs> so they're being sexy. It's weird. Except for Jen, who looks like a grown ass man in this. But any of you who like look at them, I think they look like grown men and sexy men besides Jen. We all see whatever we see, you know? How old were they though? back then. Let's just be honest. They were they were still kids, right? I feel like I see the kids. Except for Jen, who totally looks. <laughs> I call him the eternal 30-year-old. Which he would, being 29 in real life, probably find very insulting. And I'm not trying to be insulting to him. I described in my last video calling you the eternal 30-year-old. Anybody who I refer to as looking 30. That is ageless to me. You don't look like a kid. You don't look midlife or elder. You look ageless and healthy and glowing. And Jen looks like the eternal 30 year old. Enough babbling about that. I swear they look almost older in War of Hormone. <laughs> How is that possible? Yeah, the song Dope is great. It's a lot of fun. And the point of it, like all their messages of youth you know, fighting to maintain being idealistic, fighting to hold on to their hope and their dreams and not have that beat them out of them by proper adult civilization. I, I respect the message. They're in uniforms and they're not playing, they're not trying to play the sexy uniform game. It goes along with the song, but I also I'm sure that people will look at them and go, ooh, Jungkook is a sexy officer. Any I'm babbling. I'm gonna stop now because this is embarrassing to me. So let's get on with fire. Minyogi! They look like kids in this too. This is a year later. I mean, their mitts look like kids, youth. Right? This is this is filmed right around the time of Young Forever. This is the transition into manhood. Hey, sugar. I wonder why it went like crazy silent. I was like, what happened? Choreography is fire for sure. This is the first video to me that Jungkook starts to look like a man. <laughs> That's so worth seeing again. Sorry. I love these videos that make you have fun. Look at those cut off jeans. Look at them having so much fun. <laughs> Look at them ironing chin. <laughs> uh, 
Sugar is drunk like half the time in his beers. I mean, not actually drunk, obviously, but his character. <laughs> Sugar's so fun to watch drunk in his videos because in real life, like I fling my, I talk a lot. I'm very, whatever this is, he's not. What is that shirt that RM is wearing? Mm. Oh, there's V2 in his gum. It's a thing he does. V looks like a man here. J Hope is such a spaz. <laughs> Love him. RM! V is intense. I mean, that, I know that was meant to be, but he just kind of always is. Jen! I gotta go back. Because this is not okay. I will say they're probably all underage here too. Not all, but I mean about half of it. Oh, sugar! I really like RM's style and hair color all the time. It's very dynamite vibes. <laughs> J Hope is so spastic. Bring it in, Jen! Here he is, here he is, here he is, here he is! Platinum, where are you? Look at him. B and Jen. Look at you, B and Jimin. <laughs> do the hair, do the hair, do the hair! I love that little shake he does. <laughs> oh my god. I know recording videos is long and grueling, but I hope they had so much fun filming this stuff too. It always... Whew, I wasn't breathing. I'm not used to gin being any color other than like caramel honey or black. Jen rocks the platinum well. It's amazing how hair color is such a conversation piece with these guys when it's like the least interesting part of them. As men, they are fascinating, they are wildly talented, and yet we talk about the friggin' hair so much. Oh my gosh, this dance routine. Oh my gosh. Those knee holes. We are Victorians in this fandom. <sighs> yeah! <laughs> damn, damn. Damn, damn, and damn, and damn, and damn. <laughs> Boy meets. Oh, it's part of that. Oh, we're back to that. Oh my gosh. Or was that the first one? <gasps> was that the first video where they do the boy meets thing? Because Boy Meets Evil, Boy Meets Blinking, whatever that thing's called, Cursor. So part of the reason I actually really enjoyed, now that I think about it, I really enjoyed doing Dope and Fire today specifically because last week I did 
the three super high school vibe ones. Um, Bo oh, Boy in Love, Danger, and War of Hormone. I crammed all those in together for last Sugar Sunday, and we talked about how it really brought me back to like toxic high school relationships that I do not miss, and the entire vibe of game playing, which is so not exclusive to the high school dating scene. However, that's stuff I would not put up with now. What I really like about Dope and Fire, so if we go back to think about Run and I Need You, that is, I would say that kind of feels like, you know, the 20 something adventure. It feels like the 20 something adventure done really fun, but very recklessly and full of regrets. <laughs> And I feel like Young Forever is a beautiful video. Oh my gosh, such a sweet, beautiful video that probably doesn't ring the same to you if you haven't seen all the other ones. Dope and Fire remind me what being 20 something would be if you did it really well without a bunch of regrets. So now the next videos that I have not covered yet are Spring Day. I don't know if I'm gonna cover Spring Day. It's not a first reaction. Should I cover it? Should we talk about Spring Day anyhow? I have not watched it in a long time. I have not watched it since I learned what it had to do with. Because now just hearing the song makes me pretty emotional. I just hope that your Sunday has been lighthearted, fire at best, and just lighthearted and carefree for a little bit at worst. And I hope that you're finding wherever you can to grab all the hope and light and joy that you can and that if things are pretty dark around you right now that you know that you're not alone and that you are loved and that you never know who's thinking about you even somebody long ago from your past who might have their head on their pillow tonight and thinking about you or dreaming about you even you just don't know god loves you i love you bts loves you and they want you to love yourself and uh, so let me know what we should cover next week for Sugar Sunday. And otherwise, I'll see you in the middle of the week for Bangtan Theater. So we can watch, uh, what, chapter three? Talk to you guys soon. Love you. What constitutes an era in, in, I mean, I know it's part of the story. It's the storytelling that happens within their works. I have my own ideas. We are clearly entering a new era now map of the soul they got robbed of which in a weird ironic metaphorical way is exactly what would have happened to the map of the soul tour right at the culmination of of everything map of the soul when they are putting together persona and ego and shadow everything in between and the beauty that is that album that is exactly when the tour would have fallen apart thanks to a giant I don't know what they're going to do regarding touring. No matter how they choose to migrate that tour into their future plans, they as men and artists continue to grow and we have clearly evolved into a new era. And I have my own thoughts and feelings about what this era looks like and what it means, what we are going to be seeing in the next couple years from the guys.